Hey guys, I'm Shaf with Polygon Gaming. Welcome to another daily cast here on the top left hand side of Odyssey Ladder Edition in the Blue Zerg Trunks. He is a player who has started doing his own YouTube channel. I'll try to include a link in the description. It's an amazing channel with some great videos on it. He's the Zerg player, Railgun! And on the bottom right hand side of the map, playing on a barcode account in the red Protoss trunks, it's none other than Alex Neeb Sunderhoft. So I want to look at this more from the Protoss perspective today because actually Neeb is a player that we haven't had a chance to check in on for quite some time. He's, um, last time I think I watched his play in this matchup was when he was playing Scarlet in one of our Polygon Invitationals, and at that point, he was doing a style characterized by like carriers, and that was kind of the meta at that point. But Alex or uh, Neeb, he's always had um like a underlying trend in whatever style he's choosing, whatever composition he chooses, and I think that is something to look at more than just you know what building he makes at what time. Now, what he typically does, which I find particularly interesting, is whatever composition he gets is going to have a strong backbone like he'll get the economy and then power and he'll power just enough to stay safe and then use the excess money to expand again and power and then eventually get to a nice death ball army but he's almost always a defensive player he'll get certain units that allow him to poke we've got one of those finishing now which is a uh, emphasis on adept play he also well there's a stargate he loves his oracles and eventually he likes to work in warp prisms these are all very typical protoss ways of poking but he's not using it to like power a big blow attack or anything like that no typically he's just doing it to harass while getting a third base he'll probably take this one because again zerk just isn't able to uh to drop that effectively like parking your units here and then dropping all it it just doesn't work really that that well like you know against terran he might not want the space i'm not sure but yeah anyways we've got some links coming in to the uh the probe count but only losing the two links the uh the probes don't die at all getting a little bit of good scouting information he definitely sees the cyber core i don't know if he saw no, he has not seen that Stargate. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Does he see it? No, it looks like that is going to die. And we've got this Adept kind of getting knocked back. Two kills, it looks like. I think those were probably just... Nope, 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 nope. Those were drones. All right. So, we've got a slight lead now in the worker department for Neeb. And this is where he feels the most comfortable. Chrono Boost is not something to be uh, reckoned with. In the current meta, a lot of players are using their Chronos to get out upgrades or certain technologies, but no. With Neeb, it's all about the worker count. You can actually see his Chronos right now on this Nexus. Um, and, and, you know, now that he's getting to full mineral saturation, he's getting some extra gateways. Uh, he's only just now getting his Mothership Core. It's way, way, way late, but he had the poking ability and the Oracle's going to be swinging in there. Lings did see that, though, but uh, Spore Caller not going to complete anywhere near time. It's all right though, and looks like this spore crawler also going to be a little weak. There we go. Spell did get cast. He's going to kill off as many of these drones as he can until the spore crawler does complete. The queen just barely hurting the the uh, the shields there, but the second queen going to force that back, and that spore crawler was going to complete anyway. So some good good choices there by Neeb, and he actually gets that extra worker count. Now you can see he's eight workers ahead and getting a third base. This is a super early third base if you compare this to other ZVP or PVZs. Um, super early, so that's where most of his resources are going. As you can see, he's only got like, you know, uh, what's that? Three warp gates, one stargate, and uh, he's got a robo in production, but he's already working on that third base. And of course, Railgan, a very economic player, is not in a position to deny or harass that third base at all. While all of this is happening, he's got the Adepts, he's got the Oracles, he's continuing to poke. This is some beautiful gameplay by Neeb. This is why he is recognized as one of the strongest North American players. Uh, honestly, 
I expect great things from this guy. Like, he has had a great career, but it's he's only going to go up from here. And getting a good kill on that queen, he's not too worried about the creep spread, it looks like, but he is getting some good splits on these adepts, which, you know, are expendable under the right circumstances. He is going to go ahead and warp right on in there, and it looks like these will probably be killed, these roaches, the queen, and he's getting some pokes in over here as well. And the lings, uh, not able to get necessarily into that engagement, but the roaches going to be repelling the adepts anyway, some more lings swinging in here, going to prevent any kind of shading ability, and these adepts do fall. And as you can see, the army count still very very similar but railgan going to be chasing his opponent all the way back home and uh we can see a 10 worker lead right now for need so he's in a great position working on three more gateways he's starting some immortals so the higher level tech the real stick stability tech like oracles phoenix they aren't going to help you like stabilize on the ground immortals will mothership core will and uh he's gonna need some stability against this lean um, link harassment. Now the pylon overcharge does provide that a little bit. That's where the mothership core comes in, and the oracle gonna, you know, reveal a little bit of this. Not even using the spell, just chasing the zerg army wherever it goes. Hydralis Den about three quarters of the way done, and we're getting our first upgrades completing now. One thing that uh, Neeb has been neglecting so far, only about you know a third of the way through, plus one weapons um so that's going to be a little bit of a weakness we'll keep an eye out simple archives on the way he's already got the twilight council and it's actually still chrono boosting for some reason another base in production for railgan who is choosing to go extremely economic he really had to pr produce a lot of workers to get back into this game and that's keeping the army account very tight and slow for both of these players a little bit of a harassment over here but nothing too major and of course Neeb doesn't want to go too far down that direction because it would expose this third base although Railgan didn't have anything there to harass with. One interesting thing is that the mothership core is hanging out here whereas the immortals and stuff are hanging out here this is allowing them to defend all the bases at once and the oracle of course did reveal both of these bases which will show him when Hive goes off and uh, any higher level techs. And so good choices. This is just keeping him in the game. This is giving him the knowledge he wants to make the best decisions possible. And in fact, he's going to be taking a fourth base around the same time as a Zerg. This is unheard of. Zerg has to be one base ahead. And it's just almost impossible for Railgan to do that because Neeb is so damn effective with uh, the few units he is electing to make. And of course, these Zealots going to be obliterating these Lings. Railgan could could assume that a warp prism is going to be swinging because that is exactly what that looked like but these zealots going to be going back to join with the regular side of the army and we may see this warp prism choose to warp in here and then uh it'll have a warp in again when it gets here i don't know he's uh might have forgot that step this is neat his multitasking is phenomenal we'll see where he goes what he uses to do this oracle still poking around and has not really taken any uh, hole damage. There we go. The very first bit of hole damage there on that. High Templar are in production. We've got plus two weapons in production as well. Templar Archive still chronoing. Um, chrono over here. Always on the lookout for the chrono boost. And it looks like we're going to have a Zerg offense, but again, he's just not that far ahead on supply. And with a roach, bloated roach army, in fact, uh, you need to be much, much, much ahead of supply. In fact, he's behind on supply. He needs to get out of there. This is a really bad attack for Railgun. And those uh, storms are making. Oh! Phenomenal storms right now from Neeb, who is. Yeah, yeah, he's completely trashed. What? Railgun? No, no, do not engage again. Do not engage again! Looks like Railgan's gonna be going in, but another key storm! This is... Okay, roaches, the most expensive part of a roach is the supply to make it. They... That's the most expensive part. So, when you have a mostly roach army, you need to have 20 to 40 supply more than your opponent around this uh, supply. And that's just not the case here. So, these, this army is just melting. Impossibly melting. And that means Railgun's not going to have very much on the field to defend this. He has created an opening in his own defenses. And it looks like Neeb is on the point. He is going to choose to go ahead and kill off this fourth base. And while all of this was happening, these zealots have been in here completely decimating uh, this main base. We'll see how many workers have been killed. 25 workers killed so far and we've got this fourth base going to be falling here as well again railgun there was just no reason to be out on the map at that point and he does tap out neeb taking a very convincing victory there and rightly so neeb is like the closest 
foreigner to being a Korean. Rail Han, an amazing player in his own right, and an even better teacher, guys. Really do go check out his YouTube. But no match for Neve. Guys, I am Shaf with Polygon Gaming. If you like this video, please hit like on, or down there above the description. Share it with your friends, and uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I am Shaft. Have a great day. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.